Life in the suburbs has a predictable rhythm, a comforting pulse that beats in sync with the rising and setting sun. My name is Alex, and I am your quintessential ordinary guy navigating through the ebb and flow of this suburban existence. My life is unremarkable, my routine mundane, but there's a certain beauty in the simplicity of it all. The morning sun filters through my bedroom curtains, casting a warm glow on the mismatched furniture and the clutter of everyday life. I'm not a morning person, never have been. The alarm blares its daily protest and I fumble to silence it. With a heavy sigh, I swing my legs over the side of the bed and plant my feet on the cool floor. Another day awaits, a canvas yet to be painted with the hues of the ordinary. I shuffle to the bathroom, where the cold tiles send a jolt through my bare feet. Staring at my reflection in the mirror, I can't help but notice the disheveled hair and the faint traces of sleep still clinging to the corners of my eyes. There's a certain charm in the unkempt, or at least that's what I tell myself as I try to tame the unruly strands of hair. Breakfast is a ritual, a dance of cereal boxes and the rhythmic clinking of a spoon against a bowl. I'm not one for elaborate morning meals, a quick bite suffices to fuel the engine for the day ahead. The news plays in the background, a distant hum of world events that I absorb without much thought. It's a routine, a habitual nod to the outside world before I step into the familiar cocoon of my daily life. The commute is a montage of familiar faces and the rhythmic hum of the engine. A sea of cars merges and separates, each vehicle a solitary island in the collective journey to the office. The city skyline looms in the distance, a distant mirage of dreams and aspirations. I'm just a drop in the ocean of commuters, a faceless entity navigating the urban landscape. The rhythmic pulse of my ordinary life was abruptly interrupted one Tuesday morning when a crisp white envelope arrived in the mail. It bore no return address, only my name meticulously handwritten on the front. Intrigued, I tore open the envelope to find an invitation that read, Mr. Alex Matthews, you are cordially invited to a comprehensive health checkup with Dr. Hart, a renowned specialist in internal medicine. Your appointment is scheduled for next week at the Hartwell Medical Center. Please bring this invitation with you. Sincerely, Hartwell Medical Center. I stared at the invitation, my brow furrowed in confusion. Health checkups were not uncommon, but the unexpected nature of this invitation left me with a sense of unease. I prided myself on being a picture of health, no chronic conditions, no alarming symptoms. Yet the allure of mystery and the unknown cast a shadow over the reassurance I sought in my routine life. Dr. Hart's name echoed in my mind. I'd heard of him, of course. He was a respected specialist, known for his work in uncovering hidden health issues before they became problems. Why would someone like me, a regular guy with no noteworthy medical history, be summoned to his clinic? The days leading up to the appointment were tinged with a subtle anxiety. The routine I once found solace in now seemed to be a facade, concealing an underlying uncertainty. The mundane tasks that once brought comfort now felt like placeholders, mere distractions from the enigma presented by the impending checkup, as I walked into the sleek, modern lobby of the Hartwell Medical Center, I couldn't help but feel a sense of trepidation. The receptionist, clad in a pristine white uniform, greeted me with a warm smile as she confirmed my appointment. I took a seat in the waiting area, surrounded by the hushed conversations of other patients, each with their own set of concerns. Dr. Hart's office was a realm of sterility, adorned with medical charts and the soft hum of electronic equipment. He welcomed me with a firm handshake and a polite smile that barely concealed the intensity in his eyes. As we delved into the examination, he asked probing questions about my lifestyle, habits, and medical history. The checkup, thorough and precise, unfolded like a script I had not anticipated. Dr. Hart's expression remained inscrutable as he examined the results. The silence in the room heightened the intrigue, and I couldn't shake the feeling that something lurked beneath the surface. Finally, Dr. Hart spoke, his words measured and deliberate. Mr. Matthews, your health appears to be generally good. However, there are a few anomalies that merit further investigation. 
I would like to conduct additional tests to rule out any potential issues. My mind whirred with questions, but before I could voice any of them, Dr. Hart dropped a bombshell that left me stunned. You see, Mr. Matthews, this health checkup is not entirely routine. It's part of an experimental gender transformation study we are conducting here at Hartwell Medical Center. The weight of his revelation settled in the room, and my eyes widened in disbelief. A gender transformation study? My brain struggled to comprehend the information, and I felt a surge of resistance to the idea. I had expected a cholesterol check, perhaps a stern warning about my coffee consumption, but this, this was beyond anything I could have imagined. Dr. Hart, noting my shock, continued with a measured tone. The anomalies we detected in your health suggest that you could benefit from this experimental process. It's temporary, Mr. Matthews, a gender transformation that lasts only for a specific duration. The potential benefits could be groundbreaking for medical science, and you would be contributing to a significant advancement in our understanding of human biology. My head spun as I grappled with the surreal nature of the situation. Gender transformation? But why me? I'm just an ordinary guy. Why would I agree to such a drastic experiment? Dr. Hart leaned forward, his gaze steady. Mr. Matthews, we carefully selected individuals with no significant health issues for this study. The process is reversible, and you would only undergo the transformation temporarily. You have the chance to play a pivotal role in advancing medical knowledge, and I assure you, every precaution will be taken to ensure your safety and well-being. I sat there, trying to absorb the magnitude of what I had just heard. The room felt like it was closing in, and the walls seemed to echo with the weight of a decision that could alter the course of my life. A wave of disbelief and anxiety washed over me, and I stammered, But a woman, even temporarily, I, I can't wrap my head around this. Why me? Dr. Hart greeted me with a reassuring nod, as if understanding the weight of my internal struggle. Mr. Matthews, I appreciate your willingness to participate in this study. I assure you the process is carefully monitored, and you will have our full support throughout. The gender transformation process began with a series of injections, each one a step closer to an altered reality. The physical changes were gradual, but undeniable. My voice, once a deep resonance, softened. The contours of my face shifted, and my body underwent a metamorphosis that defied the boundaries of familiarity. The experience was disorienting, a surreal dance between two identities. Emotionally, the journey was a roller coaster. Moments of acceptance were overshadowed by waves of doubt and a persistent feeling of displacement. The reflection in the mirror seemed like a distortion, a version of myself that I struggled to reconcile with the person I had known for so long. Each step, each subtle change carried a weight that extended beyond the physical realm. As the transformation progressed, I faced societal perceptions and expectations that added to the complexity of the experience. Strangers' glances became more scrutinizing, conversations more layered. I grappled with a newfound vulnerability, a sense of exposure that transcended the physical alterations. The support of Dr. Hart and the medical team became my anchor. They guided me through the emotional turbulence, offering counseling and reassurance. The process, they reminded me, was temporary. A finite journey into an alternate reality for the sake of medical progress. Alongside the physical and emotional challenges, there were moments of revelation. I discovered nuances of empathy and understanding that had eluded me in my previous existence. The transformation became a conduit for self-discovery, an unexpected journey into the complexities of identity and perception. As the days unfolded, I found myself gradually drawn into the realms of femininity, a journey that went beyond the experimental confines of the medical study. The allure of dresses, the click-clack of high heels, the subtle embrace of pantyhose, each element became a tapestry of sensations that I found myself increasingly drawn to. What began as a temporary experiment evolved into a personal exploration of a spectrum of expressions that transcended the traditional boundaries of gender. In the quiet moments of self-reflection, 
I realized that the feminine persona, Alexandra, had woven her way into the fabric of my identity. The swish of a skirt and the delicate rustle of fabric against my skin became synonymous with a newfound sense of freedom and authenticity. The constraints of societal expectations seemed to dissolve as I embraced this uncharted aspect of my existence. The wardrobe evolved, reflecting the diverse facets of femininity. I became accustomed to the gentle support of a bra, the delicate lace serving as a reminder of the intricate layers of identity that I was unraveling. Panties, once foreign, now felt like a second skin, a subtle reminder of the fluidity within. As my breasts grew in size, I marveled at the transformation, not just physical, but emotional. The mirror, once a source of confusion, now reflected a version of myself that resonated with a deeper truth. The resonance of Alexandra echoed in the contours of my journey, a name that encapsulated the evolution of identity. The decision to change my name to Alexandra felt like the culmination of a process that transcended the clinical boundaries of the medical study. It was a declaration of the authenticity that had emerged from the chrysalis of this unconventional experience. Alexandra, a name that carried the weight of self-discovery and the courage to embrace the unexpected. Hope you enjoyed this story, and if you're looking for a daily escape into the world of cross-dressing, Subscribe now and enjoy new stories every single day.